welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. In this video, I am taking this simply orange foam pumpkin and we are gonna transform it into a decayed, rotting, fleshy, ah, oh, absolutely love it. This is such a quick and simple thing to do. Cannot wait to show you any pumpkin size you want. Let's go. <music> So to make one of these, you will need a foam pumpkin. The one on the left is hollow. The one in my right hand is actually not hollow at all, but it's entirely up to you. Plastic will not work, but I am taking all of my guidance from Monster Tutorials. Fully inspired this video. He is incredible. You will need a blade, a craft knife, a pen, some cling film, a heat gun, and some paint. And that is all. Now, massive shout out to my amazing friend in New York, Mike. He has a channel, Mike Life. I'm actually going to link him below. He sent me this pumpkin all the way from New York. <laughs> Last year, I remember telling him, I need a Dollar Tree pumpkin because that is what Eduardo uses from Monster Tutorials. And Mike went out of his way and bought me a pumpkin and shipped it to me here in the UK and I was eternally grateful and it's time finally to use it. So here we are. The first thing I'm doing is marking out my face and then I'm using my craft knife to cut those eyes out. You don't have to mark your face out, I just felt like I needed a template. I needed to know where I was going. I only really got halfway with the mouth before I decided I didn't like it. It was it was too low in the pumpkin. So I am going to just freehand cut that mouth. All I'm doing is working around all of the lines, the noise. You know the nails down a chalkboard noise? This noise was horrific. <laughs> it really was. I'm glad I could mute it for you all. But getting the foam out with this blade, yeah. Not, not a great sound. I'm just making sure that I flip them out this way. It's kind of the easiest way to do it. Um, and then, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to have a nose, but I thought it needs a nose, you know. Doesn't leave me much room for the mouth, but hey, it, it will work regardless. I'll make it work. I didn't like the teeth, so I decided to just ignore, ignore my drawing there and just go straight over with my knife and just create a simple, thin, open mouth, a little smile. And it's super cute. <laughs> Again, it's up to you how you carve your pumpkin. If you are using a solid pumpkin that is not hollow, do check out Eduardo's video. I will link it below. He'll explain to you how to do it that way. Um, okay, the next step cling film. This is going to be the pumpkin's skin, okay? So great, so gory. I kind of love this crafting. I'm wrapping my pumpkin twice with my cling film and then I'm making sure it's pretty tight. So I'm going to squeeze all of that cling film at the top and then do exactly the same for the bottom. And this is when it's time to go outside into the garden. You do not want to do this inside. We are going to heat up this cling film so that not only does it cling to the pumpkin form, but it actually creates holes and it, it makes the cling film kind of melt back on itself, creating what looks like flesh and skin. Yummy. <laughs> I do this for quite a while, it doesn't take long. I don't know if my heat gun was just too hot or I was holding it too close, but it really didn't take long to hold it and move it around, creating all of these gaps, all of these holes. And I do exactly what Eduardo does on his video, and I'm shoving, <laughs> I'm shoving a barbecue kebab skewer um, to just, yeah, be safer and help me hold it from a distance so that I can actually get in underneath and get in at the top. And this was fun. This was so much fun. If you didn't see last year, I actually created a corpse skeleton using pretty much the same method over a plastic skeleton. I wrapped it in some polyurethane sheet and did the same, loved it. The next step, and this is what he does in his video, is to spray the inside as much as you can 
with black spray paint. Again, I'm using black chalk spray paint because that is all I have. I don't have any other black. Ideally, you want to spray a little bit and then go in with some tissue. So spray, rub it off with some tissue, get it into all of those fleshy bits where the cling film has opened up gaps. Do it again and repeat. Now, a lot of this I did off camera because it was so windy this day and it just took me forever because everything was just being blown around. But this is the result. This is a few sprays rubbed off with tissue and yeah, I absolutely loved it. The next step, you need white and green paint to create mold. I have so many greens, but I couldn't really get that green that he used in his video. And I just picked up a pistachio and it works really well. This is where I realized I had way too much white paint on my sponge. So I'm taking some off. Dry rubbing is how Eduardo describes it in his video on Monster Tutorials. So you really want minimal paint on your sponge. And that is the effect we're going for. And then we're going to dab all of the areas that mold would actually start to grow. So all of the gaps, all of the where the skin is coming away, all of those cling film holes. And already, look at this. I mean, <laughs> sometimes it just comes together and you think, wow, it really, it really works. And it's really that simple. This whole project took around 10 minutes to make. Of course I was filming so it took a little bit longer but if you wanted to create this it's a 10 minute job guys okay 10 minute job. What I did I just kept on going around the whole pumpkin. I didn't want to completely cover up the orange I just wanted highlights of mold where I thought mold would be growing and I continued and repeated and I just made sure that my sponge was as dry as possible so that I wasn't putting big massive white clumps of paint on and yeah oh, I just love it I absolutely love it let me know your thoughts at this stage and also let me know what else is out there that we could actually do this to what else is out there in the stores that we could create a decayed look on because I loved this so much and I was thinking do they do foam vegetables <laughs> like what else is available you know um but here there's a gorgeous big um gap in the skin inverted commas um on the bottom and I absolutely love it now at this stage I'm thinking I really should I really should try and add some green Eduardo when he does his video he goes with the white all over and then on top of the white he just adds a tiny amount of green and I was nervous because I wasn't sure, you know, I'm always nervous when I try something brand new. Again, dipped my sponge in the green, brushed it off, kind of dried it off, rubbed it off on a larger sponge. I set my pumpkin on a sellotape to get it to sit still. And just adding the green, it is, it gave me a wow factor. It honestly, how decayed does this look? <laughs> I just keep staring at it like, wow. Wow, the effects are truly amazing. Actually, I have to say the top of this pumpkin, the top, this area here, is my favourite area of the whole of the whole thing. And I know that sounds terrible because it should be the face that I've carved. The face is cool and all. But this top part, it looks so real to me that I genuinely, I would look at that in a photograph and think, okay, that is real. One thing I did notice about this project, which was really fascinating to me, is that spray paint actually disintegrates um, styrofoam, you know, whatever you want to call this foam. Spray paint usually disintegrates it, and it didn't do that on this pumpkin. I've, I've used pool noodles in the past. I've used different things in previous Halloween projects where I didn't know. And I've sprayed them with spray paint and they've started to bubble away and disintegrate immediately. That didn't happen with this pumpkin and I was kind of hoping it would because in Eduardo's videos it adds to the decayed, it really adds, please go check it out, it adds to the decayed look of the piece when the foam starts to melt away. But So that was interesting for me, so anyone watching, 
let me know. Is it because I used chalkboard paint? I used black chalkboard paint and I didn't use the standard Rust-Oleum spray paints that maybe have a different chemical in there. Um, yeah, little observation, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Let me know what you think. That is it. We are done. There's nothing else to this project. The quickest, simplest, easiest Halloween DIY you've ever seen, probably on my channel. <laughs> how spooky, how spooky does he look? And how decayed does he look? I think it's important to make sure that the inside is fully black so that you don't see any of that white foam sticking out. And he still looks happy though, right? Even though he is a decaying mess, he still looks happy in that. <laughs> self-acceptance you know <laughs> let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching if you've managed to sit this far thank you it's been 10 nearly 11 minutes and i appreciate you staying all this way but look at the top look at the top of this pumpkin i just love it that cling film has created this entangled mess of decayed stalk um yeah do i need help <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I need help and someone on my last video actually pointed out it is the macabre there was a word I was looking for you know this is my kind of style of Halloween and it is the macabre I love anything macabre and yeah I hope you've loved this too and I hope you'll give it a go such an easy one and yeah I appreciate you all and thank you so much I reached 49,000 yesterday right now I am 800 away from 50,000 like I cannot I, I cannot believe it to be honest it has been an amazing four years and I'm nearly at 50,000 incredible anyway enough from me I've been talking now for 12 minutes that's long enough for anyone leave a comment down below do your thing if you like this please give it a thumbs up that will help YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they will push my channel out there a little bit more um really appreciate it so thank you so much I will see you all in my next video which will be this Saturday and it's a live it's a live I've mentioned it in my previous video I've mentioned it on my community tab live 6 p.m. on Saturday UK time craft along with me you won't be sitting down to watch guys you're gonna be crafting with me if you want to and yeah I cannot wait I'll see you then bye